Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Super Kelly, aka Mike, and I'm bringing you another episode of The Walking Dead game. I just suddenly developed an accent from hearing these people talk on this farm. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't even mean it. Anyways, we're back with The Walking Dead game, episode 2. We're about to find out what's behind the secret bookcase. It's really nervous because it's like you know it's going to be bad in there because it's never anything good because it's hidden and there's a light and <sighs> where's Mark? He should be right here. He's not in here. So um, I'm gonna take a breath, calm myself, and let's let's see. Oh, the door. Okay. That's not sketchy or anything. <gasps> Mark. His legs are gone. Please. Mark. What the hell happened? <sighs> Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. <laughs> Dinner's on the table. Oh god, is it his leg? Go, 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 Oh, thank God, I stopped there. Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. They could use some goddamn You're manners. Meat. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Okay. I'm scared I told of the you kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Quite what is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. Oh, uh, shit. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? <laughs> to continue to rot till they eat some more. Even Larry's like, what we the fuck? We think we can let put that meat to better use. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Oh God. Kenny, get your gun. Kenny, no. Nobody's going anywhere. <gasps> oh shit. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the what? The fucking black. Put fuck? your guns down. We're walking You're out of here. Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. <gasps> we. <gasps> Don't touch her. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! That must be Mark. Even unlocked. Guess who's coming to dinner? Us in here. <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bare hand. We gotta find another way out of here. Oh. Yo! Yeah. Really Shit! Fucking up everywhere. Open this door! God damn it! I see Cam. She's I will knock the goddamn door down. It, it 
It was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest Thank of us God. did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. Is there a way out? You, you okay, okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Yeah. Yeah. God, okay. Could um, there be a hole I'll behind these pallets? And make you swallow them! No such luck. No such luck. Come on! Try yourself! Dad! Shelves are pretty sturdy. Well, you can gonna climb up. up. Aneurysm. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. There's more of us on the way. Let us out now. Meat. Do you want to live? That's not don't gonna help. Know what kind. I don't blame you. Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. They're not gonna open the door! You, you think a fucking apocalypse gives they you the right to They got caught you in ducks, Lee! Those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them! Uh-huh. Yeah. Dad! This isn't helping! Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Easy! Uh -oh. Dad, come on! Dad! Oh god, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! The morning later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Well, we can still save him. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. No, god damn it! My dad survived worse than this! Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come oh, on, God. Lee, I'm right about this. Oh, God. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake up! I gotta tie with Kenny. You're right, Kenny. Let's get this. You help Kenny monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! Oh, God. I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no. He's dead. I can't. Let go of me! No! Lily, Please. just get out of the way, Lily. I'm sorry, Lily. No! No! Oh, God. God help us. I'm sorry. I Don't know you we... fucking touch me! Clementine. Clem. I didn't unlock too much You're salt okay. will kill you. Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. He was dead. He he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. <laughs> I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Um, How about your walkie-talkie? Yeah, yeah. Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. 
Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Okay. You, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. About your family. Katja and Doc. What about him? You don't think they're St. John's? No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. Sure. And, and Duck is valuable as a bargaining chip. We gotta get to them. Is there more talk to be had? What now? What now? You got any ideas? The air conditioner. There might be a duck behind it. Oh, God. What are they doing to Katya and Duck? There's one more thing. We had an option. Why does he keep cutting out? It's just you and me. It's just you and me. Lily's in no condition to help us rescue your family. Considering what just happened, she probably side with the St. John's against us. <laughs> I mean, I don't... Lily... Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. You gotta put yourself together. Larry would want you to move on. You gotta put yourself together? You've got to pull yourself together, Lily. Why? For your sake? So you can feel better about... about what you did? For your own sake. Right. Because you fucking care so much about me. Get away. I just need to... I told you to get the fuck away! <laughs> there ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. I've got a rock. Oh, it might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. Yeah, not coming off something. that way. Nope. It's not coming off that way. Um. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. The air conditioner might be our way out. If the duck behind the air conditioner is big enough, we might have found our way out of here. Yeah? But I need something to loosen the screws. I got nothing. Shit. Hang tight. Maybe I can scrounge something. Hmm. Larry had the chain. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Damn, this, this is intense. Oh boy. Any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture! <laughs> Lily's seriously pissed off. I do not blame her. Um, let's try this one. A ring. My mother's. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Okay. Back pocket? Still carried his wallet. 
And this must must be this. Here one. we go. Two quarters and a dime. Sixty cents, right? I'm really bad with with money. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Okay, let's do it. Let us do it. <laughs> Those graphics. You though. got it? Yeah. One more should do it. One more? It's like shaking. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Well, there's only one person that's gonna fit in there. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Um... I know you're brave enough. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> True. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. You can do it, Clementine. I believe in you, girl. That pause, Are though. Okay. Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Levy, we gotta go. Leave me alone. Lee, I can see him. It's not safe in here. For God's sake, Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. I got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Oh boy, we got out of the box of death. Oh, we're in the back room, of course. Yeah. Oh, no wonder she was gasping when she got back here. This is gross. Ew, they have brains. And a noose. I told you there was something up at this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Okay. Can I get that right there? Yeah, get it. I would need that. Diary of the Year 1993. Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Are those intestines? Oh my god, what's wrong with these people? What's that? Take the mini cattle prod. Jesus. Okay. Is that really better? Oh no, take this. It's like we have to choose which thing we want to take. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. Oh, that's so sick bastards. All of them. Yeah, um. Ugh. They don't even clean up after themselves. Gross. Hey, watch your step. That's slippery. Yeah, okay. Can we... Um... Uh, can we go? So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh, Stay close. Okay, um... Hey, what are you doing outside <gasps> the bar? Oh shit! Just get out, get out, get out. Just like you said. 
I mean, keep sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Now what I do? They're talking about killing us. No shit. Let's we'll take them out together. What should we do? <laughs> oh, I know, my boy. This is my favorite part, right too. And I, say. I let See one think they can just walk right out. <laughs> oh, God. Down. Gone. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. See where he is now. Oh, I'm dead. He's gonna be right there. Shit. Oh, screw you. Oh god. Oh god. Am I gonna kill him? Uh, you see? You understand now, don't you? He can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. Cannibalism? Cannibalism is not the answer! Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! You ain't gonna kill me! Just like you didn't kill Jolene! You- I'm not gonna kill you, because I'm not a- This is not how the world monster. works now! You won't make me kill you! Why is she Fuck holding- you, Lee. you and Kenny murder my dad, but you leave this piece of shit alive? Fucking bastard. Sometimes I remember that I spared a life of a man. Don't hurt him! That's gotcha! Please, no! Lily, please, keep her safe. Achievement unlocked, taking... Uh, Charlotte? Whatever that means. But, okay guys, so I know once again I'm <laughs> ending it on a sudden moment, but I feel like this next episode's probably going to be the last one. Um, whew, getting intense. It's already, it's, it, it's as intense as it can possibly get. The cannibals have Katja, they have Duck, I don't know where Kenny is. So much is happening, so we'll find out what happens in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and you will see... The finale of episode 2 in the next one. Don't forget to be kind to one another, and I'll see you then. Bye, guys!